In this video, I'm going to show you how to use La Remote when connected to a Daemon unit. With the Daemon units, there's a lot more customization and flexibility in how La Remote can be programmed. Basically, you can assign any function you would like out of the Daemon unit uh, to one of these programmable buttons on La Remote, with the exception, of course, of the volume knob and the mute button, which are dedicated controls and you can't program those. Basically, the way this works is each layer of La Remote has its own page. And on each page, you can have various custom functions for these buttons right here, the momentary switch as well. But to switch between these layers, you use the rotary control like this. And here I've got five layers that come standard with the Daemon unit here. There's a input, a output metering page. Well, we've got the presets, snapshots, uh, the network page, uh, and the monitoring page here where I can switch between the inputs and the various speaker sets that I have programmed here. So if you take a look on the GUI, you can see those layers over here, monitoring, meters, presets, snapshots, network. And the cool thing is I can add additional layers and edit them to my heart's desire. I can make whatever I, I would like, uh, completely custom. We could even get rid of these default layers and start over from scratch and build your own custom configuration for La Remote. So the flexibility is pretty big here. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the rest of the global controls, the global configuration for La Remote. You can control the brightness of the buttons and of the screen itself. Um, also, with the screen, you can invert the black and white aspect of it. If you want white text on a black background, um, we can flip that over here and you can see now how the pixels have reversed themselves. Or we can go back to uh, dark text on a white, white background. Um, <clears throat> the volume knob itself is also customizable. You can adjust the amount of decibels per step. This is a detented control here. So right now we have it on 2 dB increments, but we can lower that all the way down to a half dB if you want, or crank it way up to 6 dB, whatever works for your um, particular setup. There's also a, a unique control, the wheel acceleration mode, in which case the speed that you turn the volume knob will determine how many dB per detent of the knob it will move. So the faster you spin the knob, the more range you get out of it. Um, so something like this, or I can spin the knob real quick and get 40 dB of reduction, or I can move it very slowly and get smaller increments like that. So this is all personal preference and uh, how you like to work in your studio. Um, you can decide how that works best for you. Um, the custom logo. If you have a logo for your studio or your business, you can load that into La Remote and either have it displayed on a particular layer, or in my case, I like to have it when I hit the mute button, my logo pops up on the screen like that. I think it looks really cool. Basically, you need a ping file that is configured for the right size of the screen. So I'm gonna get rid of this here. And now you can see the parameters of this ping file that you need to create. 128 pixels by 103 pixels. I'm gonna go and choose mine again, add it in there. And now I have it uh, to be displayed when I hit the mute button. And there you go. We talked about the layers and how you can modify the layers. You can also get rid of them if you'd like, or you can add more. So really you can do whatever you'd like. And once you've set up that whole configuration, um, you can actually save this as a file on disk as a backup. Um, otherwise it'll be stored on the turnoff unit itself and will load up when the unit is turned on and La Remote is plugged into it. All right, so let's get into the customization for each layer. To begin with, there are choices for what is displayed on the screen for each layer. And we've got several options here. So to begin with, I have the current monitoring selection it shows you know, what input I have selected and what speaker set I have selected. Then if I go to the active speaker set, I can see I have a surround speaker system chosen right now. So it displays each speaker, including the sub there. Uh, then we move on to the current snapshot, whatever snapshot you have happen to have selected. Then we've got the headphone level, uh, the network information, uh, the meters, the output meters of the turnoff itself. Uh, here's the custom logo. You could have one of your layers just show the custom logo. 
Uh, then we're on to the current preset. So you can switch presets and see which one is active. And then we're back to the current monitoring selection. So each layer has a choice of one of those display options for the screen. So next, I'm going to show you how to customize a specific function to one of these programmable buttons. And I'm going to do that on this first page. Right now, I have uh, my DAW input and X32 console input uh, for monitoring. And I want to add a video editing workstation as another monitoring source. Now, that input source has already been programmed into Daemon itself. And now all we're going to do is add the functionality of switching to that input source onto a button here on La Remote. So back into the GUI here, if I go to the sources group, open this up, now I can see all the sources that are actually programmed on this particular daemon. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping. So I'm going to drag DaVinci Resolve over here to that third button, let go. So now you can see I have all three of my sources over here. In addition, I have my two speaker sets here on the right side. So this is sort of my main monitoring page where I can flip between my various inputs and the two different speaker systems I have here in my studio. So that's it. That's all it takes to program a custom button on La Remote with the Daemon. There's all these choices here in the, in the GUI. You can switch between all the different presets that you have. Um, there's some network settings if you want to program those to a layer. Uh, the down mixing capacity here, which I already have programmed the mono switch. Um, on the monitoring group, there's quite a bit for the various talkback microphones, including the built-in talkback here on La Remote. Um, dynamic range control. All of the functionality that's in the Daemon now is available to be put onto these custom buttons in the various layers. Got my input sources, send sources for your headphone amp or something similar. Uh, the speaker sets. If you have more than one speaker set in your studio, you can switch between them. Um, then we have speaker tools, and there's a lot of these. Um, if you have a, a big surround system or something, you might want to be able to solo the individual channels of that speaker system or mute them, various things like that. That's all available here in the speaker tools. Uh, then snapshots, when you want to quickly change uh, the working mode of your daemon, you can do so just by programming it onto a button on La Remote. And then there's a custom, a custom design one for various other applications. So it's really that simple. You can build your own layers for your own working style, for your own uh, workflow in your studio, and put all of that functionality right here on La Remote, and it keeps it right next to you, right here at the console, makes it very easy instead of having to use the GUI on a browser or the Trinoff app. Um, and that's what makes this so much uh, more functional as, as a tool, when you can bring all that functionality right here using La Remote, right to your fingertips and help improve your workflow. So um, that's it for using La Remote with the Daemon. And I will see you next time.